Welcome back again to another UML tutorial. And in this tutorial, I am going to explain how to model an inheritance relationship between two classes. Or three classes, actually, in this example. So imagine this. I have a class named Smartphone. And I have a class named Smart Glasses. Okay, a smartphone and smart glasses have a lot of things in common. For example, they both have a name, they both have a description, uh, and things like that. So, typically, if I have to model two concepts that are related, that have a lot of things in common, uh, I prefer to create a inheritance relationship to isolate out attributes they have in common, uh, two classes have in common. Uh, as opposed to duplicating uh, the attributes in, in two classes. Okay, so what would I do? Well, a smartphone and smart glasses are both gadgets. So I'm going to create a more... Actually, it should not be gadgets, it should be gadget. I'm going to create another class named gadget. And in this class gadget, I'm going to put all the attributes that smartphone and smart glasses have in common. So, okay, let's uh, create two attributes. So the first attribute would be name, which is of the type string. And the second would be description. which is also of the type string. Okay, lastly, I am going to add one other property named price, because that's also something that a smartphone and a smart glasses have in common. So the price in this case is double. Okay, so there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate that smartphone and smart glasses, both being gadgets, are going to inherit all the properties of gadget down... Uh, going to inherit all the properties from gadget, meaning if you create an instance of smartphone or smart glasses next to the unique properties of the two classes, they also have the inherited properties. Okay, and before I do that, let's just do this the proper way. And set the modifiers to private. And naturally, let's attach the proper profile as well, because we are doing a Java model. So thus, I'm going to create a Java property. Yeah, okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to establish that smartphone and smart glasses inherit from gadget. So, for that I'm going to choose the generalization relationship. So, click here, click there. The arrow is always pointing towards the superclass, or the class that is being inherited from. So, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can use the filter to... No, we can't do that to indicate that something is being inherited, but in this case that is not the case. Okay, so, like I said, these properties will be automatically inherited from the superclass, class, which is also a Java class. And so there I can define uh, the unique properties of a smartphone. So let's see what would be a unique property of a smartphone. Um, Let's think for a moment. Um, what is it that makes a smartphone unique as opposed to a um, smart glasses? Well, I guess since a smartphone has a touchscreen, I can indicate if it's a multi-touch screen, which is a boolean. So, there we go. 
and let's see uh, what the smart glasses has unique well assuming that you have a smart glass that has uh, glasses that have an actual strength for people who wear spectacles so or actually the correct term would be degree so I'm gonna model degree as a integer so there we go so here I have two classes, the class Gadget with a series of properties and the class Smartphone with a series of, uh, and, and Smart Glasses with each property. So let's attach the proper profiles. So this is a Java class. Okay, let's just uh, create a bit more space here. And this is of course a Java property. And naturally, I want these properties to be private as well. So that's one. And that's two. Okay. Diagram looks a little bit sloppy, but let's just drag those relationships. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so there we have three classes from which two subclasses and one superclass. So let's generate code just to see how it works. Okay, let's take a look. So I have the class Gadget, which has the three properties, all private, and the getter and setter methods. I have Smart Glasses, which says extends Gadget to indicate that um, Smart Glasses is, is a subclass of the superclass Gadget with its own property and the getter and setter. Smartphone, same thing, also extends Gadget because it's a subclass and its unique property okay even though i have a more elaborate explanation on the code in a uh, other video i'm going to very quickly prove uh, or demonstrate what the effect is of this inheritance so say if i create an instance of smartphone and the same thing applies to smart glasses and I check with the auto-completion, I will actually see that name, description, price and multi-touchscreen are all available in this class. Description, name and price are being inherited while set multi-touchscreen boolean is actually the uh, method that is uniquely to this class. So basically I can access these methods just like as if they are part of this actual class. Okay, and that's how you model inheritance. So, see you next time. Mm -hmm.